everyone! I'm excited to be sharing another Cricut tutorial with you today. I will be doing a tutorial on how to make subway art in Cricut Design Space. If you don't know what subway art is, it, another term for it is typography art. And basically you take words um, that are all related to a certain topic, um, a song lyric, a poem, um, etc. And you make it into a beautiful piece of art that is just a variety of different fonts that are used in it. And they're like different sizes, different colors, different shapes. And it's very popular nowadays. I know a lot of people that love it for home decor, especially in the nursery for babies. Um, but we have some that we have just in our front room. And it's a great gift idea as well. You can easily make subway art in, with Cricut Design Space. Um, you can make it in other programs if you're just wanting to print it off, but you can also do that in Cricut and you can just use the printing feature. However, I'm gonna show you how to make it um, in Design Space and then how to cut it out with your Cricut machine because it can be really fun to use your vinyl uh, for this project. Okay, now we're in Cricut Design Space. As you can see, I have a couple of designs over here that I've already made. You can get those designs on my blog, um, clarkscondensed.com. Just search how to make subway art in Cricut Design Space. But I'm gonna show you a start to finish how to do this. So press new project and you'll come into design space and I like to start with a rectangle or whatever shape my canvas is. So um, since I'll be putting this in my son's bedrooms, I have a five by seven stretch canvas that I'll be putting this on. So I'm gonna go into images and search for rectangle and they have a free one that, so even if you don't have Cricut access, you can use it. And then press insert images and since this isn't the exact shape I want it to be, and I don't want it to be um, to change in you know regular amounts. Um, I'll press the little lock button over here, and that'll make it so I can change um, the sizes of everything without everything changing at the same time. So I want it to be five by seven, so that looks pretty good. And then I come over here and I change the color to white just so it's easier to work with. Um, and I just put it in the middle and now this is the fun part. This is when you um, make make the subway art with all the different fonts that are in your Cricut design space. So I highly recommend having a Cricut access um, font subscription. It's $4.99 a month and you get access to tons of great fonts um, directly in design space. You don't have to worry about downloading anything or finding websites and figuring out how to upload them to your computer. But otherwise, you can also find tons of great fonts on the internet. Um, some are paid, but a lot of them are free. And I would highly recommend checking out Dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. Especially if you're looking for something very specific. Um, they have a lot of seasonal fonts, a lot of real pretty fonts. And you can just upload those to your computer, and then you can use them in Design Space. So I'm just going to go and start writing things. So you'll get, you'll open the text box, you'll write in what you want to, what you want your first word or phrase to be. And the thing that's fun with subway art is that there's just so many different fonts and colors going on that you can just really play around with it until you find something that you love. So I'm just gonna make some subway art about what this tutorial is, how to make subway art in Cricut Design Space. So I'm just gonna type in how. <clears throat> it shows up with that first font. Not that fun, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to click on Cricut because um, I just want to look at all the Cricut fonts. But if you have system fonts, that's anything that's installed on your computer. And then all is everything. So let's see. We'll go with, how about this one? And you want, if you're going to be cutting this, you want to make sure on the side that it says single layer cutting. Um, so how, then you can change the colors if you want. If you're printing this, you'll want to change the colors to what you want. Um, them to print but if you um, are cutting it with your machine it doesn't matter as much if unless it just helps you in your mind know what it's gonna look like so I'm gonna change the color just for fun we'll do this blue how to design if it's small words um, like two I usually combine it with something else um, this looks like a fun one how to design and part of this is just going through and making things um, how you want them to look um, 
it's really fun because you can just personalize things so much this way. Um, and I see a lot of people doing these with like their baby's birth stats, you know, like how much they weighed when they were born, etc. Let's see, let's find one that I think would be good for subway art. Let's try this one. And now I've just, you know, put in all the different colors I wanted, the different fonts, and even some um, images. So I put a circle around the end, and I put in some arrows just to give it a little more fun texture. Um, so you can do whatever you want. You can use all, any fonts that you want. Um, you can use all sorts of images, phrases, um, songs, just words that, you know, correlate together. And it's really fun. I know I know so many people that love having this type of um, artwork in their home. And you can also use it for cards, or bir like birthday cards or wedding cards, etc. Um, so once you've decided what you want your design to look for, look like, you can go and print it to your computer if you want. Though, <clears throat> this is what that looks like. Um, this was going to be 8 by 10 and it did make me make it a little smaller just so it, you know, cut out or got it printed correctly. Um, so it looks kind of fun. You can put it on some nice cardstock and print it off. Or if you are ambitious, you can do it with vinyl. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. Um, if you want things to be in the same color of vinyl, you're going to click on each of those images. You can do it over here by pressing Control if you're on a Windows computer. I believe Command if you're on a Mac. Um, so if I wanted the how to and the design space to be the same color, I could double, um, I could select those or you can select it over here in your side panel by pressing control as well. Um, and you come over and you will press attach right here down at the bottom. And that means that'll just make it so they print off at the same or they get cut at the same time. So just go through and decide if you, you know, what things you want to be the same colors and like if you, um, if you're going to want all of these to be different colors, you can, um, ungroup the letters even and you can have them all print, cut out with different vinyl. So once you have everything decided, you're going to come and, um, you're going to press make it. I'm actually going to do a different design that I made. Uh, cause I don't really want to print this one off that I just made. <laughs> so I'm going to press my projects and I'm going to do, uh, the snips and snails. So everyone knows that poem snips and snails and puppy dog tails. That's what little boys are made of. And I did one for the girl poem as well. If that's what you'd like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Uh, I'm going to actually get rid of the background on here because I don't want to cut out, you know, a, re a white rectangle but everything's still how I want it to be in the same sizes. Um, so you'll go ahead and press make it and you'll see I have four cuts. So we're going to go ahead. The first one is the ampersand and the little boys. So I have my machine all set up and I have my first vinyl in there. So I'm going to press continue. I have it set to vinyl with the, um, with the dial. So I will just repeat this process with all four of my cuts. All right, now that I have all of my pieces ready, I am gonna weed them. Um, this is my uh, Cricut Bright Pad. You can see my, one of my other videos for a review of this. But I'm gonna weed out everything so I can place it on my canvas. So we'll meet back when we get to that point. So now I am gonna be putting it onto my canvas. This is a five by seven canvas that I bought at Joann's. Um, and I'm just doing each individual piece with some transfer tape. Um, it'll take a little bit to transfer everything on but I think it's going to be look, look awesome once it's done. Um, and now we're done. It took me a while to get everything transferred over just because there's a lot of different pieces of vinyl and care that you know that has to be taken while you're transferring that over. But it's really fun to be able to make your own little home decor like this. Like I said earlier, you could always print off the, um, the design you made. Um, but I think that using the vinyl makes it just even more fun. So you can also use foil. I love the adhesive foil, and that would be fun for this project as well. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment. I'm happy to answer them. This is a pretty easy project once you figure out what, what you know exactly, once you know exactly what you're doing. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.